hey guys welcome to my youtube channel called the pink brain entertainment please remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so that you won't miss on any of the brainy entertainment in tonight's video we are going to talk about president cyril ramaphosa and the national address it has been confirmed that president cyril ramaphosa will address the, uh, the nation at 8 o'clock tonight sunday the 12th of september 2021 on the developments in the country's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The President's address follows meetings in recent days of the National Coronavirus Command Council, the President's Coordinating Council and the Cabinet. As South Africa rolls out its COVID-19 vaccination program, the government and the, and the social partners are continuously monitoring infections, treatment, recovery and vaccination rates rates as well as compliance with health with health regulations and other prevention measures the, the president's address will be broadcast and streamed on a range of platforms that are accessible to south africans and international audiences so it has been expected that president cyril ramaphosa will move the country to level two as media reports media publication reports so now we are going to talk about what is expected on the national address so there will be an increase of people allowed for outdoor venues from 100 to 250 for outdoor venues ne? and then from 50 to 100 for indoors venues and then the curfew is expected to be pushed back to between 11 p.m and 4 a.m. the following day. Fewer restrictions on sales of alcohols reported. The president is also expected to outline the government's plan to introduce a COVID-19 vaccine passport as part of a push to achieve health immunity in the country. On the 11th of September 2021, South Africa reported 5,000 309 new COVID-19 cases, bringing the total number of cases in the country to 2,854,234. The while 49,845 tests were conducted in the previous 24 hours, representing a 10.7 positivity rate. A third 143 COVID-19 related deaths have been reported, taking total fatalities to 84,751 to date. And then we are going to talk about vaccine certificates. A digital COVID-19 vaccination certificate will confirm that a person has been vaccinated in South Africa. Uh, that was said by Health Minister Dr. Joe Pasha. And then Dr. on addressing media on Friday, the 10th of September, Dr. Pasha said that the, the certificate would be made available through a person's smartphone, which can then be also be printed out. Dr. Pasha said the certificate has been developed with fraud and other security preventions and will align with international standards. This is what he said. This initiative is in line with the World Health Organization initiated vaccine vaccination certificate. Through this, the World Organization, the World Health Organization, attempting to standardize vaccination proof all over the world. The minister said this certificate should be available to vaccinated people in just over a week. And then he added that he clarified that the documentation would be made available for those who are recently vaccinated and to those who vaccinated several months ago. As long as the person's personal information is reflecting in the electronic vaccination data system. The health minister said the certificate would likely be used for certain services in the future but the government has no intentions to make the certificate a requirement for accessing public services instead dr Pata said that the document would be used to gain entry to entertainment and sporting events as well as possibly in some businesses this is the end of the show tonight please remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so that you won't miss on any of the brainy entertainment
गुड बाय